Hi guys, Craig here with American Bass TV. I have another pros pointer for you today. Before we get into this pros pointer, let me invite you to send in your own video for us to feature you in a pros pointer video. Send a video of you showing your favorite technique, lure modification, anything that you would like to share to help everyone else catch more bass. You can use your phone for the video, shoot it in the landscape direction, that's the wide direction. If you keep it under a minute, you should be able to text that right over to our office number. If it's too big to text, you can email it to info at AmericanBass.com. Don't worry about trying to make the video perfect. We can edit glitches that you might have in your submission. Then be sure to share these videos with your friends. Encourage them to subscribe and hit the notify icon. That way they will be notified every time we release a new video. Okay, let's jump into this pros pointer. This pros pointer is being presented by Kyle Grover. Kyle started fishing American bass tournaments as a young kid with his dad, Rick. Kyle and Rick have won 17 American bass tournaments through the years, including winning two boats for their two American bass team classic championships. Fishing with other partners in American Bass events, Kyle has won a total of over $100,000 in cash and multiple Angler of the Year titles. Over the past six years, Kyle has become one of the most successful pro anglers in the West. He fishes the FLW Western Pro Series, the most prestigious pro events in the West. He already has an Angler of the Year title, along with a second, third, and sixth place finish in the overall year-end rankings, and last year he won the Clear Lake event. Kyle is going to share how to rig one of his most effective baits. What's up guys, this is Kyle Grover from English Marine, hanging out the shop. Still open, by the way, selling boats. I uh, just want to go over a little tip for you guys, probably, it's probably the number one tournament winning bait at Diamond Valley this time of year and catch them at you can catch them at all the SoCal lakes it's just it happens to uh, for the FLW you caught a bunch of fish on it there too it's the thin Sanko pretty much everybody knows about it uh, but they don't talk about it as much uh, I fish it two ways fish it on a rebar like that when it's weedless throw this a lot at Diamond Valley this way or Paris when you're throwing it directly in the trees and then if I'm fishing a little more rock style bank or not directly in the trees, throw it on a wacky rig like that. And then when you throw it up on the rock, you can twitch it a little bit. You'll get a little bit of that wacky rig action. Um, but that's pretty much it. Keep it. I keep it really simple. I've literally only got two colors in my box, green pumpkin and watermelon. Uh, if it's a sunny day, sunny day, I'll throw the watermelon. If it's a cloudy day, the green pumpkin. And then I'll have them rigged up both ways, for in the trees or for on the rock. That's it. Thanks for the great tip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help this channel. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.